Crystal and I'm back new video. Hi guys, so today I'm actually here to do a video which is about Wish Trend. Wish Trend is actually having Black Friday sales in the middle of March. <laughs> I know, I know it sounds really weird, but at the same time, the reason why is because that what happened was back in November, I think a lot of people weren't actually able to get the Black Friday deals because of some technical issues on site. So Wish Trend was like, we're sorry, we'll actually bring back the sales soon and true enough, they're actually bringing it back now in the middle of COVID-19. <laughs> so I guess it's a good move I guess you would say and also it's a good time actually to pick up some of Wish Trend's uh, products. I have used Wish Trend products for at least about a year on and off so I'll be telling you my favorites and what I actually recommend so if you're interested keep on watching. <laughs> Alright so actually if you check out from my most recent Wish Trend haul which I put up here <laughs> and what happened was that I actually managed to pick up some stuff during the Black Friday haul. I was actually very lucky. So um, let's talk about this one first. This is actually the Daily Skin Hydrating Toner, 500 ml. I've been using this for about, I think about a month, a month and a half-ish. And this is how much I have used so far. I actually go through toners really fast. So <laughs> yeah, I actually used this and they came out with, I think two types. There's one, there's a softening one and there's this hydrating one. I, my skin is normally, um, just to let you know, it's more of like a normal combi kind of thing. Somewhat, sometimes dry I guess, but it really depends on the season. So I skin needed a lot of hydration because I feel that it was getting somewhat dehydrated due to, you know, tough times and also hot, hot season. So I decided to pick this one up and ooh baby, this is, this is great, this is fantastic. I feel like my skin has changed a lot after using this product. I use it in together with um, the, the pads, the Dear Class, um, what you call this? Dear Class Toner Matte 2 in 1 Cotton Pads over here. I actually used to have the, the packet one. Oh, I, I, still have the, I still have the plastic from it. I used to use it with, oh, I left one more piece. <laughs> I use it together with this multifunction cotton pads over here. I'll put like the actual picture here. <laughs> and these are actually really really good. I think I may pick up some of these cotton pads. How much are these? They actually come with like 70 pieces, I think. Oh, they're 245 right now. Wow, I may actually may pick up may pick some of these up because these are really good. So for the Dear Class 2 in 1 uh, toner mat kind of thing, you actually have this type, this uh type of cotton which is you can see like a gauze kind of thing. You still kind of get this type. This type is more like um see-through transparent. I'm not sure if you can tell the difference. Um, between so this is the gauze gauzy type and this is like a transparent thinner type you can actually feel the difference in real life so i use this type the gauzy type to actually kind of um pick up all of the remnants after washing my face because sometimes there are a little bit of you know um, dirt and maybe some unwashed unwashed part i know it sounds disgusting but it's this type of thing and i will actually use that to pick up all of the remnants of my face and then i'll take the more like thinner transparent type to actually um, add hydration to my skin and I normally prefer this piece over the gauze type because I don't know I prefer the feeling of the moisture going into my skin it feels really good honestly speaking I think I talked about these pads before in like my follow-up video I believe I, I think so I pretty sure pretty sure so yeah you also can use your hands to pat it in as well. It's, it's a very, very lightweight formula. It's very, very thin. You really cannot feel it on your skin. Like, you give it maybe like 30 seconds to like sit into your skin all this, it'll be gone. You won't really feel it. But you'll still feel like your skin is very moisturized, which is what I like. So, uh, yeah, you should check this one out. And it's 500ml. 500ml, you can last like really, really long. And I think... The price now it's like how much? Original price is 27 US dollars, so now it's 18.90. So sis, check this out. This is really good. I highly recommend this. Alright, so now moving on to the next item. Well, kind of like item, but it's actually a two-piece I two-piece set kind of thing. So it's actually the two-step eye care set, which is these two items. So you have the fundamental eye awakening gel. And you also have the Fundamental Nourishing Eye Butter. These two in a set originally cost $48. Now they are $31.20. I... Oof. Okay, between these two items, I actually prefer this one, the Awakening Eye Awakening Gel because you can really can feel the difference. It really like sits into your skin and you actually can feel your under eye tightening up. Because I believe there's actually peptides in this 
when I first watched the video of it being introduced and at first I was like, oh, how true can it be, you know? It's like, it's just a gel, I think it's the point moisturizer. No man, I was wrong. This is actually, I actually can feel the difference with this one. It really tightens the under eye and I can feel like my eyes when I apply like concealer on the under eye because like you see, I have really, really dark under eyes. So I definitely need to apply concealer usually on a daily basis. This actually helps with um, concealer not settling into my, my lines at the end of the day because, I mean, let's face it, everyone has lines. Concealer will crease in your like lines over here. So this actually really, really helps. So normally on days when I have maybe like an event or maybe like some important things or meeting with friends just like i need my to make myself look more presentable on that day i guess i will actually go in with this uh, fundamental eye gel and actually i would just apply under under eyes during the morning and oof baby it's good this is very good for the nourishing eye butter honestly speaking i don't really feel that much of a difference i don't feel like there's any tightening um, feeling as compared to this because I get hooked onto this really really easily this is really good I think you should really pick this up experience it for yourself this is fantastic but this one I I'm very lukewarm about it I feel like I can just apply um, using a moisturizer because for me when I feel like a product is good or bad or how, how much I love it is normally by how much I go back to it so like for this one I feel like I can't live without this uh, awakening eye gel but this one I feel like it's kind of lukewarm I mean I have it it's nice so I just you know use it up but will I repurchase this um maybe not when I first started using these two like consistently like oh I use this in the morning and this in the night like constantly kind of thing I think I kind of broke out especially because the, the breakouts only occurred on my like this area over here which is normally where I apply my um, eye skincare so um, after a while I stopped the breakouts kind of stopped as well at the same time could be because of my diet at that point of time but yeah and eventually when I occasionally just trickle this in and this in once in a while my skin can handle it so um, if let's example you are like a normal skin type um, like me and example if you like to slack like a lot of sting on your face and I have a tendency that if things are too like too thick, they kind of clog up my pores. So I guess that's the reason why they, you know, this kind of clog my pores up. So I'm just letting you guys know. Alright, so the next product I'm going to be talking about is this. This is the Class Soft Airy UV Essence over here. Originally, it's 23 US dollars and now it's 19, 19 US dollars-ish. So this is a very light um, formula. When I wear this, I don't feel like my skin is clogged up. I feel like it's very comfortable to wear actually. Um, it doesn't have a white cast as well because you know some um, sunscreens that I've tried before when I was um, in the past. When I was in the past. In the past. I mean, I've tried sunscreens before and some of them actually left like a bluish purplish hue on me at times. And also white cast at the same time so it's like really annoying but this actually doesn't. So when you apply this and then like your base on top, oh, it's a very, very nice finish. I actually really enjoy it. So yeah, currently I'm not using um, this because um, I think I'm left with like this much and I think I have used this for about a year already. So I shouldn't be like continuing using it just for the safety of my skin. But the current one that I'm using is like this one. This is a Centella Green Level. Uh, sunscreen by Purito. Oh, it's not in focus. Sorry. <laughs> so this is the one I'm currently using. Um, I actually bought this when I already had this already, so I decided to just try this out. These two actually perform really, really very similar. Um, I know Purito is not as easy to get your hands on as compared to Class, but um, I'm not sure. This is, I think, this is 60ml, this is 80ml, so if it matters to you, yeah. And it's also the scent because the, the Centella uh, green level one kind of smells like the Centella, that kind of, you know, herbal smell. Um, it's not like a pungent one, but it's quite fragrant and nice to me, so I can take it. I know some people don't like it, so that's just a pro tip, I guess. 
and yeah, this one over here, the Dear Class one, has no smell at all, so it kind of, actually it does have a smell, but it's kind of like milky, you know, like milky soft smell, which I absolutely adore, so if you want to check this out, um, I think it's a great investment actually. Alright, so this is the class uh, Freshly Juiced Vitamin Drop. Um, it used to be $23 and now it's $16.10. So, it's pure vitamin C and Centella Asiatica Extracts Hybrid stabili Stabilization and Technology. So, this is actually 35ml and if you're thinking crystal, 35ml is really, really tiny and for $16, that's expensive. And you know what? I kind of agree. Um, but this is like my third bottle if I'm not wrong. Yeah, this is actually my third bottle of this uh, freshly juiced vitamin drops. Every time during the sale, I will actually pick one bottle up because I think this is a fantastic product and I absolutely loved it. So back when I used my last two bottles, I really couldn't really tell the difference. I just liked the finish and the, the, the plump looking um, effect it had on my skin because my skin really looked very juicy whenever I applied this. But recently, this time when I actually had this, can you see these three constellations on my face? These are kind of like um, under the skin pimples or like inflammation at the same time. So this one in particular was like inflamed and just one lump on my face and it was really really awful to be very honest, it's sad. <laughs> so I actually used this in conjunction with another serum. So this was used during like the night time for it to help repair the skin. And this is really this has really really helped me um, even out my redness in the skin tone, especially here and here. I also had one breakout here, which was very very red and very irritated. And this actually helped to soothe at the same time, even out my skin tone. So it helped with this as well because this was actually very very red at one point of time. So this actually really helped. Um, I, I I don't know if I have any pictures of my inflammation. I'll just pop some pictures here I guess if I have any. <laughs> this is actually a very lightweight um, serum. Will you call it a serum because sometimes I feel like it's a low-key like an oil at the same time because it has this like after feel as well which it feels doesn't normally serums don't really have this after feel because normally serums they kind of sit into your skin really really fast and very well but this kind of leaves like this juicy low-key a little bit oily but not really oily kind of finish. Wait, let me just here. You can see it's very runny but if I were to yeah it has like kind of like an oily consistency at the same time. So this gives a very very nice sheen like healthy skin you have you have slept for eight hours and not at like 1 a.m in the morning. Oh one more thing um there's another one there's another serum that I like is the Rich Moist Soothing Serum, which I'll pop a picture here. This serum is fantastic. Smells like cotton. Get anything that smells like cotton. And actually what it does is actually, it smooths your skin and it actually um, reduces the redness on your skin as well. Because I remember that was like my first Wish Trend product and I was blown away by how good this product actually perform. I think it lasted for about like three months, two to three months before I finished it and I absolutely loved it. I actually repurchased it but I can't seem to find it anywhere right now so I'm a little bit worried to be honest so <laughs> yeah. Originally it was $23 and now it's $16.10 which I think is a great deal to be very honest. I usually applied this during the morning before I go to school at that point of time. It actually helps to reduce the temperature of my skin at the same time as well so because it's like a soothing kind of serum and it's really really good I really enjoyed that serum generally a very pleasant experience with it especially with the cotton smell I absolutely love the cotton smell <laughs> so I actually have two products from which trend that I don't really care for to be very honest and it's actually some of them are they're the best sellers so I'm just gonna let you guys know um, don't get butt hurt okay so the first one is actually the Clash uh, Gentle Gentle Black Deep Cleansing Oil. Sorry, I'm looking at my laptop over here. $23, now $16.10. It's 150ml. This, <laughs> I have very mixed feelings about it because at the start, I actually really liked it. But then at the end of it, I didn't really like it because I feel like the smell kind of gets to me because it has this like vegetable oil um, kind of smell, which I'm a little bit turned off by it. Um, also, I feel like it doesn't really 
clean my face that effectively because sometimes when I start to you know like after using water to dissolve the oil and stuff like that I actually find there are some remnants of like you know um, whatever base makeup or foundation or eyeshadow that I actually have on my face so I feel like it doesn't really clean my face that well although it cleans very gently I feel like there's better cleansing oils out there like my personal favorite is actually the Hamish one um, the one in the little tub, you know, that white color one. I actually really like that one. I haven't picked that up for a very, very long time. But that cleansing oil, cleansing balm, really cleans my face very, very well. Gentle and actually removes everything. So I recommend that over this uh, deep cleansing oil. Another one is actually the Mandelic Acid one. The Mandelic Acid 5% Skin Prep Water. So this is recommended as a gentle, low irritant exfoliator, which I don't think so because this really irritated my skin. My cheeks were turning red. Here was turning red, I remembered. So I don't really recommend it I, for me personally. If there's anyone out there, please let me know. Do you actually like this product? Because I know Kenny actually rec put this in actually her kit, like her, her bundle. I, I didn't pick that bundle up, I'm so sorry, but I didn't because I didn't know what to do with this mandelic acid if I were to have it because that little sample actually irritated my skin so much already, so I think that it was... Yeah, no. If you actually know how to use it, please let me know. Please educate me. Please don't roast me. Please be civil. Alright, so I think that is all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found this video effective. And also helpful in making um, better purchases from Wish Trend. Those are some of just some my recommendations and duds from Wish Trend. So um, please let me know if you have any experiences with Wish Trend products because I want to know what are your favorites and what are your dislikes as well. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.